Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna address the elephant in the room first because you might notice that I don't quite look the same as usual, meaning I am shorter and the back of my chair doesn't look the same. My regular chair is actually just here. Um, but right now it's a corpse. So it was the night of February 13th and we have like two halves in my house. We have the half that's been here originally and then the other half that was an addition that we put on a couple of years ago and that's where my room is. So I came home from work and I drove to the back of the house and I went over that, there's like a slight bump in between. It's the slightest bump ever. But I noticed my chair kind of kicked to the right a little bit. And I was like, well, that's weird. And then later I came out back the other way for dinner and it kicked to the right again. And I thought that was weird. So when I went to go back, I made my stepdad come with me. Thankful for that. And it kicked to the right again. And then it gave me an error code that said break two disconnected. And then it just stopped working. So I had the wheelchair. Lena has decided that peeing in the middle of me shooting this video was absolutely the best idea. Anyway, I had the repair lady come over and uh, apparently I need a new right motor. Isn't that great? She actually showed me a picture of like one of the connectors inside of it being completely askew. So that's great. Um, and I was like, I really wanted to shoot my favorite video and over the past couple of days I've been like so like depressed because I'm not in my normal chair because this is a manual chair so I have to push myself everywhere. It's shorter so I can't reach everything that I can reach. I just can't do all of my things. I can't go anywhere. Like I can't, I can't be myself in this chair. So I was like, I just shoot my favorite video but I have to like be weird and ugh. But I'm better now because we have like a timeline. So hopefully by the time this video goes live, my chair will actually be fixed. So let's hope because the part's supposed to come in next Wednesday, which is two days before you're seeing this video. And the process is in Ontario, you know, ODSP has to approve the part before they'll pay for it. ODSP is the Ontario Disability Program um, and before they can order it. So fortunately I have a great ODSP worker and a great wheelchair company and they work together and they got through that part pretty fast. So I'm just waiting for the part to come in now. So hopefully that's soon. The other thing I want to mention before we get into actual favorites is I actually won. A second ago I had to stop recording because Lena was peeing and a litter box right behind me. And now she's decided to start eating while I'm shooting this video. Why does she always choose while I'm shooting a video to do all of her lab things? What? I'm just gonna keep talking and she's just gonna keep eating, okay? So if you can hear my cat eating, that's what she's doing. But a, a little while ago I actually won an Instagram giveaway. I didn't think anybody ever actually won those. I thought it was fake. Uh, so when it was actually on Ipsy and it was for a bunch of Ciate London products and if you watch this channel you know that I love Ciate London products like they're so expensive but I love their aesthetic and I love all the stuff so I kind of want to show you what I got I mean I don't mean to sound braggy or anything I just kind of am excited about it and they just came in the mail before I went to start this video and I just wanted to show you because I'm excited so they sent me a bunch of stuff they sent me a bunch of let me show you a bunch of eyebrow products. They sent me three of their microblade brow pen product and they sent me it in the shade charcoal, deep brown, and soft brown. So I'm assuming they must have looked at my Instagram app where I won and kind of figured out what my hair color was. I'm assuming the charcoal shade will be best for me, but maybe the deep brown as well. And then I can always just give the soft brown away or keep it. <laughs> um, and then they also sent me the stamp and drag product, which I think is the only product in this whole thing that I'm going to do a Tuesday review on or at least a testing video uh, because this is a double-ended eyeliner and one of the ends is supposed to be like the wing and the other end is supposed to be like you can draw on your liner and I've always kind of wanted to try one of those eyeliner stamps and here I have it so I might as well and then they also sent me their fierce flicks eyeliner which I've tried before and I really like and then they sent me a couple of powder products so the first powder product is this eyeshadow palette and it's just a little cute little nine pan palette very reminiscent to me of the Huda Nude Light Palette, which is a favorite of mine, so I'm not mad. And then they sent me two blushes. This one is in the shade Date Night. I think this is the one I really like. Yeah, this is the one that I can see myself wearing a lot because it's sort of nudey, brownie, a little bit warm, and it's got that sort of gold shimmer to it. And then the other one, I'll be honest, this one I can't really see myself wearing as much. It's in the shade In Too Deep, and it's just very purple. Like, I'm a fan of a cool tone blush, but this one is just so cool tone, I'm afraid... I don't know, like it has the gold through it, so it might look nice, but I'm afraid it's gonna look a little bit like a bruise on me because I'm so pale, but we'll try. And then the highlighter, uh, this is the piece I was most excited about because this is the highlighter that was in the Instagram post that I entered the contest for because this is their highlighter in the shade Starburst and this is like a $40 highlighter and I have almost purchased it many times because I had a sample of it once and I loved it and I put it on before I started shooting this video and I just think it's beautiful. So shout out to Ciate. I didn't think Instagram giveaways were real. I just always assumed nobody ever won them and they were a promotional scam. So yeah, now that I've rambled for what, seven minutes about things that aren't my favorite from February because 
it's the 20 something and those just arrived and <laughs> my chair breaking is definitely not a favorite. Let's talk about some actual favorites, okay? It would not be fair if I did not call the Sabrina palette my favorite palette of February 2020. I obviously still use the Huda palette, the Huda nude palette every now and then, but the Sabrina palette, like I just love it. And I feel like the more I use it and the more combinations I use, the more I like it. I don't know that you can still get it. I was going to assume that they would restock it online, but I haven't seen them restock it yet, but they're still promoting it. Like it's still their banner on all their socials. I still see sponsored posts for it all the time. So I'm not sure, maybe stores will get it again, but if you have the chance to pick up this palette, it's stupid expensive and I really like it. So I have no, no, no issues with the fact that I bought this. This was the first expensive palette that I have purchased. <laughs> well, I mean, I bought the Huda palette in like the end of October, early November. This is the first expensive palette since then that I've bought, but the first expensive palette that I've wanted and bought opening day in a long time. So I'm glad I bought that. I have no issues with that. Wanna hear a story about how stupid I am? So I ran out of my skincare and then sat here and was like, wait a second, why is my skin bad again? What's going on? And then it finally dawned on me one day that I didn't have anything from The Ordinary left. So I did put a, an order from The Ordinary through. God, now that I think about it, I put a lot of really expensive, stupid orders through lately. Somebody help me. But I put an order from The Ordinary through. And the nice thing about being Canadian is that uh, I think it's over $25 you get free shipping from The Ordinary. So that's great. So all of my The Ordinary skincare is back and my skin looks better. I still have a couple of zits around my mouth, but... They're going away. I'm not wearing any foundation right now, just so you know. But a foundation that I had been wearing since I got it back is the Ordinary Serum Foundation. I love this foundation. I forgot how much I love this foundation. And fun fact, when I repurchased this foundation in this order, I was like, wow, I forgot how much I love this foundation. I should do a Tuesday review on it. And then I shot the demo of me using it. And then I realized I have already uploaded a Tuesday review on this foundation. Great. I'm running out of Tuesday videos. I don't know if you knew this about me, but I'm running out uh, because of this chair issue. So I have a whole bunch started and none of them done. So I'm having a great time. <laughs> It'll be fine. I'll get the Tuesday videos done. If I miss one week, I'm sure you understand. I'm in a wheelchair and the wheelchair broke. So let's move away from makeup -y things now. I feel like I've talked about makeup for 80% of this video. I really just wanna give a shout out to this Petonia that I bought at the Reptile Expo. This was the first plant for me that I purchased and it didn't even really go through my head to put it in Rogers Terrarium when I purchased it. I was like, no, I want this plant for me. It's my plant now. So I just think it's beautiful. Something about nerve plants, something about the, the, the delicateness of the lines going through the plant. And I just think it's beautiful. And I have some new little sprouts coming through. So I haven't killed this yet. I did kill my, uh, what kind of fern did I buy? I don't remember what kind of fern I have had, I should say, but I killed it. So that's three ferns I've killed now. I killed the begonia vine that I bought at the Reptile Expo. Although I don't know that I killed that or if it just never had a chance because I took it home, I planted it in that video and then just nothing ever happened. One of the leaves on the end fell off and then the other leaf fell off and just nothing ever happened. I kept it well. I watched all these videos on how to take care of a begonia and it just didn't work out for me. I also killed, I had a little glass sphere at work that I was trying to grow wildflowers in and I also killed that. But this is proof right here that I do not kill all of my plants because this one seems to be doing well. And my favorite thing about my Catonia is that, so every day I turn it so that, let's say the sun is coming from this way. I try to get it so that the underside or the opposite side gets the sun. And every day by the time I get home, it looks like this again. Like it has completely grown to face the sun no matter what I do and none of my other plants are sort of active or behave quite as much as this one does and I think that's why I like this so much because it sort of changes and does things every day and I think that's why I find it so interesting just in case you're worried about the life of my plants by the way these are my plants and I have not killed all of them I just seem to have a particular knack for killing ferns I still need a fern for the terrarium eventually I'm gonna find one that I can learn how to take care of and until then I'm fernless but these are all doing well but I felt like maybe I should start fertilizing but I have to be careful with what fertilizers I use because I have to be careful that it's one that I can use now and then it won't die when I stop using it and then it's one that won't be harmful to Roger at all. So I actually found this brand and it's called Marfil. Marfil? Marfil. I know, I know how to pronounce it. Marfil. I think it's Marfil. And they're a Canadian brand and they specialize in this kind of fertilizer and this is a marine, a phytoplankton uh, fertilizer. So it's all natural stuff from the ocean, that sort of thing. I am going to do a full video on this once I have more of a concrete 
thought of this because I actually only had this for a week. I'm only mentioning it because I was mentioning plants. So I don't have a, a, a review on this yet, but I have been shooting like when I unboxed it, when I used it for the first time. And I haven't even used it on my Fetonia yet because I only water it once a week. But a couple of my other plants I have used it on and I've used it on my plants at work as well. So I will keep you updated on if this fertilizer, sorry, soil enhancer works on my indoor plants because the reviews look good. Um, it's a Canadian company. It's a natural organic fertilizer and I just think all around it looks like a good idea you know so what did I do in February uh I went to the reptile expo with Alyssa and that was rad there's another reptile expo coming up it'll be this past weekend when this video goes up and part of me is like why is it so soon right after the other one and the other part of me is like I want to go it's weird to me because I've always been someone who's like afraid of bugs if you watch my video about the reptile expo I don't like bugs but I really enjoy keeping the isopods. I check on them every day. I just think they're so interesting. And I have springtails in there now too because that's sort of an important piece of a bioactive enclosure when you have them. And I don't think they're as cool, but I am aware that they can't really do any harm, so I don't hate them. But I think the isopods are so cool. Like, I've been using, I've been feeding them with fish pellets uh, because I watched a video where that's what, that's how a guy took care of them. And I like the first time I put little, little tropical fish pellets in there, they like, walked out and started eating them and started carrying them back under their little hides and I just think it's interesting. I'm building up that bug tolerance is what I'm trying to say and that was really the end goal. Have I watched anything interesting? I don't think so. All I really do is watch YouTube videos anymore. I watch so much Plantarina. She is my favorite plant person on earth because she just has such a lack of arrogance, such a lack of ego. Like you watch her and she's so nonchalant about plants that it's like I feel like if I asked her a question about plants, even though my question is probably stupid, whatever that question would be, she would not let me feel bad about it because she'd be like, listen, this happens all the time. People always kill making hair ferns. She'll tell you about things and it never feels like a matter of fact, teachery kind of way. It always feels like a listen. Like she's just talking to you like she's your friend. She's just trying to help you figure things out. And I really appreciate that. So I watch a lot of Plant Arena. Yeah, that's what I've been doing all month is sitting in my manual wheelchair, watching Plant Arena. Which is like not bad and putting stupid amounts of internet orders through. I just did a spirit Halloween order because the Wonder Woman costume was on sale and I really couldn't afford the spirit Halloween order but I put it through anyway and then I put a big Colourpop order through today that you will get a video about, don't worry. Yes, it's the Sailor Moon collection or at least I attempted to buy the Sailor Moon collection. More on that later. And I don't have any extra money. <laughs> like, I'm not working more so I don't know where this came from. Don't know why this girl thinks she can buy more. I'm on a low buy for the month of March. Only the essentials. See how that goes. And I have to start saving for Anime North because that's in May. I don't have any money saved for it. So that's the goal. Low buy for March because I spent so much in February. All right, now I'm rambling and my camera says it will only record for four more minutes before it clunks out on me. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to say goodbye. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know if you have any thoughts or any comments. Let me know about those in the description box below. Hopefully the next time you see me, I will be in my regular wheelchair once again. And if not, know that I am very frustrated about it on the inside. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you have not subscribed already. And I will see you next time. Bye!